take off them ZZ Top sunglasses so that if Hal Rogers can see my face, I want him to, to, to look at me and who's saying these things about him and McConnell. You know, my name's Mickey McCoy and I'm from Inez, Kentucky. That's, that's home to the 2000 sludge flood where 308 million gallons of toxic sludge broke from a coal impoundment. They call it a sludge pond. It's 72 acres, baby. That's a lake. And it broke out and went in two parts of the county, releasing 308 million gallons of sludge. It almost was totally covered up. They, they, the coal industry has such a stranglehold on every facet of life in Kentucky and West Virginia that that particular, which the EPA called the worst environmental disaster east of the Mississippi at that time, it was almost covered up. I don't think it made the scroll of CNN. You know, there's a, there's a phrase echoing the capital rotundas in Kentucky and West Virginia and, and here in D.C. And it's being shouted by the likes of uh, Steve Beshear and Senator Mitch McConnell and, of course, Hal Rogers, to name just a few. You see, as puppets of, the, of King Cole, these men try to assure their colleagues and the rest of the country that the United States Environmental Protection Agency has launched a war on coal. Well, them old boys are partly right. There is a war going on. It's a war that was started years ago and is continuing as we speak with the bombing of the Central Appalachians. It is killing our land and our people. It is a corporate greed assault that if allowed to continue will spell the genocide of an entire culture. Thank God that the EPA has intervened. The EPA using the facts of science. I wonder if anybody on Capitol Hill understands what that means. Science has become an ally of the people. And in doing so, the EPA is just doing their job. On behalf of Kentuckians for the Commonwealth, well, I'm a member of, and for all those thousands of people, folks in the mountains who have lost loved ones due to the carcinogenic heavy metals blown out of the earth and poisoning our waters by this hellish, murderous extraction of coal called mountaintop removal, to repetit them, I stand proudly in defiance to Governor Stephen Beshear, McConnell, King Cole and all the King's lap puppies in the state houses of Kentucky and West Virginia and those here in Washington, D.C., who put, who put corporate gains over people's lives. I proudly stand against all those who support the bomb and death squads, who feed the poisonous, murderous waters to the Appalachians. Yes, I proudly stand with my brothers and sisters from West Virginia and with all of you here today as we shout to the high heavens. Thank you, Environmental Protection Agency. Thank you, EPA, for your scientific back judgments in, mining permit, in the mining permit process and the standards for protecting our streams. Thank you, EPA, for acknowledging that, that Central Appalachians and its, and its people are not, we are not a throwaway culture. And thank you, my EP, thank you, our EPA, for standing strong when political windbags and airheads who care nothing, nothing but for padding their re-election coffers, for standing strong when these people pound you with lawsuits and personal insults and, and, and outright just damn lies. EPA 
has no war on coal. By bombing our mountains and poisoning our water, coal declared war on Appalachia. Yes. Listen, due to the mountain bombing, the coal fields of Appalachia have been transformed to the killing fields. And every state and national political figure who backs mountaintop removal stands guilty of an accessory to murder. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.